Hey, what's going on? Bill is Krosama here, and today we have somewhat of a special unboxing. Uh, this is going to be the first model kit that actually has a Gundam Breaker product code bundled with the kit, but not only that, the Gundam Breaker mobile code is on the box, which is super weird to me because you don't see this like on any other high grade that you know comes with maybe those little cards for the uh, little arcade machines. They might advertise it on the side of the box, but this is straight up combined with the title of the mobile suit. So pretty odd uh, choice that they did there. Uh, but if if you are living outside the United States, then you're going to be getting a Gundam Samrock uh, box that does not have the Gundam Breaker mobile product on it. So unfortunate, but yeah, this is pretty much only for the Japanese audience. Now I need to be upfront with you guys. I really only bought this just so I could play with Sandrock in the game. Um, I really don't like Sandrock though. I just kind of wanted to make it just to sh you know show everyone, hey, this is what the mobile suit does in the game. And you know, it's kind of starting to rub off on me. Um, I, I kind of like it a little bit more since I've seen some Japanese reviewers review it. Um, I'm still not all for the design, but I think the actual kit itself is going to be really good. So let's take a look at the front of the box real quick. Now I think overall the front of the box does look pretty good. It's going to have a little army right here in the back, uh, in which, you know, the Mega Meganic, I think that's how you pronounce it, um, they have released like the 32, you know, P Bandai set, which is ridiculous. Uh, but if you really do like, you know, this kind of like group right here, then yeah, I mean, you're going to really enjoy it. But for me, I mean, Sand Rock and everything around Sand Rock is probably just the weakest part of Gundam Wing in terms of mobile suit designs and kind of like semi-factions. So, yeah, I'm not really too into it. Now, this kit did release in 2019, and it's really nice just to see that we're finally getting some more wing units that are kind of just the originals and not something from like Bill Fighters and all that. We're getting something that's pretty fresh, and I really appreciate that. I'm really hoping for, an, for a high-grade Gundam Epion or even an, an Otaku. Now for pricing, this is going for roughly about $17 online, uh, but I did manage to pick it up for about $13.50. And it's number 228 in the original high grade line. Looking right here on the side, it's just kind of showing you a little bit of the Gundam Breaker and you have a QR code in case you want to download the game itself. And right here on the side, you're going to get a front and rear shot of the Sand Rock and you know, it's it's not looking too bad. I'm really liking those uh, those little heat shuttles. I, I think they look pretty cool. And right here you're going to get a really cool pose and some unique hands that are going to be exclusively for this kit. Obviously you could probably use it for other kits, but um, the way they're shaped is definitely going to be for, you know, these actual weapons. But eh, maybe some, some beam sabers can probably use them. And you can recreate that cross crusher. So pretty much putting the backpack and the shield and the swords on the arm and just crushing your enemies. And you're also going to have those heat blades, which are looking really nice and probably going to be my go to when I start posing it on the shelf. And lastly, you're going to have some nice little gimmicks. So really good ab crunch right there. And of course, the waist and like all the little skirt armor can move around. And then you're going to have your weapons, the shield and the heat shuttles right there. And we're looking at Runner A. This is looking more matte black. Uh, I could be wrong. It's kind of leaning a little bit more towards like a very, very dark gray, but I'm pretty sure this is all just matte black. And you're going to have this kind of mustard yellow, which I'm not really digging, but I think once the kit is all complete, it's probably just going to really line up and match pretty accurately. Then you're going to have some green right here, and you're going to have some other red right down there. And for Runner D1, you're going to have a light gray. So I kind of wish that this was silver, to be honest. I mean, easy fix to just go ahead and paint it. Uh, but a lot of this is going to be for like the skirts as well as the, uh, the shoulders. And here we have C1 and C2. So C2 just being a smaller version of this one. Uh, but you are going to have like the head uh, parts. You're going to have the body, the waist. And this is going to be just all the legs and all the rest of the little dual parts. So if you look inside, there is going to be... You're gonna have some nice little panels right there. You can go ahead and just fill in. I'm gonna go ahead and just use some, uh, some light gray or maybe just a normal gray to fill all that in just to kind of contrast well with the white. Uh, sometimes I just go with black, but I think this time around, maybe gray might be the best choice. Uh, and then you're gonna have some other leg parts right here and just some other head parts right over there. And here we're gonna have is B1, B2, B2 just being a smaller version, uh, but this is gonna have the hands and man, these hands. 
These hands are looking really nice. I just love the amount of detail that's on these. Um, yeah, <laughs> these are looking really, really good. Um, so probably some of the best hands I've seen in a while, in terms of high grades at least. But yeah, you're gonna have some really nice open expressive hands. You're gonna have the gripping hands and then just some normal um, open hands. Too bad they didn't you know, have any fists that's gonna come with it. But yeah, the gray overall is just looking kind of more basic, uh, which you would normally see. And the last runner is going to be the Heat Chateaus. So looking really good, a clear orange. I'm really digging the colors. Obviously, you want to, if you want to paint some other clear colors on there, just kind of give it, you know, maybe like some uh, some yellow or some red in there. You could definitely do so, uh, just to kind of give it some more depth. But overall, I think it looks really good. You get some poly caps. A fairly hefty sticker sheet, which a lot of this can just be painted. So that's probably the route I'm going to be taking is just painting uh, all these little details in the kit. And lastly, you're going to have the manual. So even on the manual, they put Gun and Breaker on there. They're just like really throwing this in your face. Uh, but of course, you're going to have a little color guy right here for the construction of the weapons and backpack. Um, I mean, overall, it looks pretty good. Um, I'm, I'm pretty digging. I'm, I'm pretty much digging this kit now that I'm I'm really observing it, seeing the details. I'm like, you know what? Maybe this can change my mind on my overview of or my thought process on the Sandrock because even as a little kit, I just absolutely hated the Sandrock. I thought it was the weakest of the unit. Um, not really digging it whatsoever. But you know, this high grade may change my mind. So. We'll definitely see the poses looking top notch. The articulation is looking top notch. So cannot wait to build this this week and go ahead and review this for you guys. Now, if you do play the Gun and Breaker mobile game, I did make a video and just basically covering the analysis on the Sand Rock, which you can check on my channel. I made it probably about three days ago, so you can go ahead and check that out. Uh, but yeah, that's that's pretty much it for me, guys. Definitely expect this kit to be built later on this week, probably more nearing the end of the week around Thursday, and then I'll do the review then. But yeah, that's it for me, guys. Definitely thank you for watching, and I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.